South Bend, Indiana mayor, Pete Buttigieg. Everybody has to learn how to say Pete Buttigieg, right? Is expected to enter soon, and he is already starting to apologize for something. And that is the fact that he, in the past, used the phrase, all lives matter. Unfortunately, uh, it was not obvious to everybody that black lives were being valued the same. And so that is the contribution of Black Lives Matter. And it's a reason why, since learning about how that phrase was being used to push back on that activism, I've stopped using it in that context. All right. So joining me now, Charlie Hurt, Washington Times opinion editor, and Jamu Green, former candidate for chair of the DNC. Oh, Both are great. Fox News contributors. Jamu, you have been around the party and working on bringing out the vote for your entire career. When you look at Pete Buttigieg, what do you make of his candidacy and what do you make of his comment about all lives matter? Well. First of all, congrats on stumping the possible candidate with that question. That was that was fantastic, Martha. Look, I actually I ran against Mayor Pete. We ran against each other for the Democratic National Committee chair position and we traveled to lots of different forums together. My question to Mayor Pete, to a lot of these, you know, almost running folks, where's the substance? You know, we've seen from Kamala Harris a, a plan to give teachers a pay raise that they so desperately need. We've seen policy positions from Elizabeth Warren that go into just so much detail, whether it's breaking up Facebook and other tech giants or universal child care. There's a real issue I have with the attention that Howard Schultz and some of these other um, B brothers uh, who are running uh, on the Democratic side, the attention they get for the personality versus the substance. Where's the beef? Did you say the B? Who did? You, what did you call them? The B brothers: Biden, Beto, Beto, Mayor Pete. Biden, Buttigieg. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's them. interesting. They are stealing a lot of the attention out there. Um, Charlie, what do you think? Well, and of course, uh, also, you know, a good 50 to 60 percent of Democratic voters are behind uh, Biden. Two of the B brothers: Biden and. Uh, 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 Bernie Sanders, and of course, uh, which is kind of strange. Oh, Bernie, when you consider, we him. Yeah, yeah, when you consider the fact that you're talking about two of the uh, oldest uh, people uh, in, you know, in, in the Democratic race, they've been around Washington for decades. They haven't fixed anything. Uh, in addition to that, you've got a party that is built on uh, identity politics, and for two old white guys to be sort of collecting the lion's share of the of the uh, support at the moment. Uh, is trouble. But I tell you, you know, Donald Trump looks at this field and he feels very confident because, you know, he sees these Democrats, they're all falling over one another and uh, trying to support things like open borders or reparations now or, you know, all of the live birth abortion, all of these crazy things that are, are really fringe of the fringe. And if he's going to go into battle uh, for 2020, uh, that's what he wants to be going up against. So he's feeling very confident right now. Well, interesting to note that Howard Schultz said tonight he was not in favor of third trimester abortion or reparations. Um, so a lot of alternatives that was, me, out there was, for people to, to think me, over. On, yeah. on, on, on issues, to me, uh, that was the most interesting thing out of that uh, entire very, all of it was interesting. But to me, that was the most important thing because, uh, as Jamu pointed out, it was about issues and uh, it was about issues yeah. that are important to most people. But you know what? When well, he what said what will make news. Well, real quick, Jamu, thank you. He said what would make news is his support for universal catastrophic insurance. And I don't think that's mm -hmm. going to make news. The politics of it is going to make news. The personality, kind of the squabbling, the wedge issues. And that's a shame because that does benefit Donald Trump. And so Democrats need to come together on the substance, I think, and move away from the personality so much. All right. Jamu and Charlie, thank you very much. Thank Great you. to see you both tonight. Thanks for being here.